Go, go, go. I love this. This is so beautiful. So you can make just totally awesome, lovely things from the most small scops, which is what people at different times in, in life have had to do. It's all that people had sometimes in their scrap bags. That's what women had was scrap bags. Sometimes the scrap bags were just full of really little pieces or even pieces of uh, old work clothes. And rich people or people that had some cash at the time, their scrap bags were full of like calico bought from the store or whatever. But whatever you got, uh, you can use to make loveliness. So all you gotta do is line up, line up some pieces I'm Jude Vashon and I'm 47 and I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm a librarian, I'm a healthcare activist, a community educator, I make things. It took me a while to get around to making something. I was always um, enjoying other people's stuff and wondering why I didn't have my own stuff. I've always been drawn to sort of lower tech materials, more everyday materials, and I think it has a lot to do with how I experience art. It's really part of everyday life for me and I want it to be that way. Yeah, I like to use office products. I like old school whiteout and I like the fabulous new whiteout apparatuses. So this was from the Visionary Arts Festival. People answered the question, um, what do you think slash feel about the economic crisis? And then they answered the question, um, what can we do about it? So I sewed together answers to what can we do about it? And then I did some um, real simple embroidery to try to honor what people said. I've been doing quilting um, with my own sort of individual projects, like these curtains would be an example of patchwork. People have done this and made an entire quilt that way. Um, when all of the all of the warmth in a house had to come from blankets a long time ago. These guys were curtains and so this was also a curtain. This one has just like a straight channel. You make the top and then you attach it to the bottom with this type of stitching all through the layers. I like art as just an everyday activity. It's part of everything for me and I like it being accessible to, to, to myself and to other people. I think access is just a thread throughout my life. That's why I'm a public librarian. I created this project called Be Well Pittsburgh, uh, healthcare options for the uninsured. I had a struggle with a health issue with my shoulder. It just drove home how difficult it is for people who were low income and uninsured to get the health care that I think we all deserve just as human beings. There are resources in terms of prescriptions. There's some information on health insurance options um, like medical assistance. There's information on getting help with hospital bills, GLBTQ resources, uh, resources for seniors, mental health resources, and, 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 and. I think we need complete reform of the healthcare system. I'm for universal healthcare. But in the meantime, um, ways to just um, be okay despite the status of our system. This, I hope, would be one way. It's a crucial time because they're actually planning on um, debating the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act in June. They're threatening Medicaid. So if you can get some energy together to try to be a part of resisting this stuff, then we can do it, yeah. If we really commit to it and understand that it's a right that we have, uh, we can do it.